Hey everybody, this is Lady Metal D, and today I'm going to talk about vaginas. Why? Because I feel like it, and this is my channel, and I do what I want. So, let's get on with it. This is Lady Uncensored. Okay, first, I want to apologize about my glasses. The glare, you see the glare? I was told that there would be no glare when I bought these motherfuckers, and I spent a lot of money on them, and then look. You see that? There's a glare. So, I apologize for that. First of all, the reason I came up with this subject on this day is because yesterday I was on <clears throat> Long and Gamer looking at games and it made me think of that because I have a vagina and I picked up some weird knowledge over the years and it was about time for another Lady Uncensored so it just seemed like a good subject. Also, I had found out that in 1946, the first time the word vagina was used in film was a short film by Disney, and it was called The Story of Ministration, and of course, I had to stop what I was doing, run to YouTube, look it up. Was it worth my time? Yes. Yes, it was worth my time. Okay, a lot of people know this, that vagina means sheath of the sword. That is where it originally came from. And there is a thousand different names for vagina. I was not aware of this and I was looking them up. There are some funny ones. Of course, I think everybody knows that the most common name used for the vagina is pussy. I don't usually use that that much unless, I don't know, you're in sexy time or something. But I, I think I use that word more for saying, hey, don't be a fucking pussy. Another word that's used for it is cunt, and I do not refer to a vagina as a cunt, because to me, a cunt is is what you call someone when they are being a bitch, but you bitch is not enough, and super bitch isn't enough, and you fucking bitch is not enough, and you goddamn bitch is not enough to express how much of a bitch they are. You have to use cunt. You just, you do. It, it's when bitch is not enough, you have to use cunt. Okay. So out of these thousands and thousands of things to call a vagina, I think the funniest one that I read was Warehouse of Warmth. Warehouse of Warmth. Yeah, so anytime you get a chance to use that, use it and tell me tell me how it turned out tell me how it turned out so use that and tell me how it turned out all right there's this mysterious thing in your vagina that is called a g-spot uh some people believe it doesn't exist experts say here it is some experts say yeah it doesn't exist and some people make money about putting fucking needles up there and shooting shit in there. It's called G-Shots on your G-Spot. I saw it on TV one time, and they send you into a room, and, and they tell you to find it for them. Uh, okay, find this. I'm going to leave you a little time, and you find where it is, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to shove needles in it, and it's going to become a lot more sensitive. That's all I have to say about that. There is this condition called pelvic prolapse. And I always knew that your uh, uterus could drop because I always heard people after women have babies and stuff where they say don't lift anything heavier than your baby because it can make your uterus drop. Uh, that's, that's what they say, I guess. Uh, but the pelvic prolapse is where your vagina falls out. I don't know if you women know. Your vagina can fall out. You can get old and be walking around one day and your vagina fall out. And it's disgusting and I really wanted to Google it because I don't know, because I did, but I didn't because I really didn't want to and I'm not going to, but I had that one split second thought thinking, no, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. And uh, if you do, tell me the disgusting factor and... I, if that's ever happened to you, I'm so sorry. And I did not mean any offense. And I'm sorry for your pain. I'm pretty sure it sucks to have your vagina fall out. Okay, kegels. Everybody knows about kegels. 
They are exercises. I'm doing them right now. They're exercises to strengthen your pelvic floor and your vaginal muscles. The fact that they have so many products to help you work this out already makes you feel self-conscious. Like, geez, do do I need to do this? What do, what do I, I, can I compare? I can't just walk up to girls and be like, hey, can I stick my finger in you so I can compare you to me and see if I have a problem? Yeah, you can't, you can't really go around and do that. So I uh, bought some of these products and I'm going to show them to you. The first one I bought, they were weights. And I got them and I thought, these are fucking ball bearings. These are fucking ball bearings. You could probably get this at a goddamn hardware store. What the hell? It says start with one and then work up to two. And to get them out, do fucking jumping jacks. What the fuck? And guess what? You have to do jumping jacks. Just saying. Okay, being as curious as I am, because I'm curious, I bought another one. And this one is weighted and it has different weights that you work up to and it actually has a string so you don't have to fucking do jumping jacks and this is it you can hear it has a little weight in there and you can suck it up and down and suck it up and down and you just pull it out right here and uh oh it's got crusty stuff just kidding just kidding that was a joke i am actually going to take this motherfucker I'm gonna have it just laying around and have a party and see how many people pick it up and be like, what the fuck is this? It's gonna be hilarious. One more thing about kegels, the record for a woman picking something up with her vagina is 30 pounds. She grabbed something and lifted it up and it weighed 30 pounds. And um, I guess that would be pretty scary for a dude that, you know, is about to bang her. Just just saying. It's probably scary. And that's all I have to say about that. Mother knows best. Bullshit. Mothers don't know best. And if you have one, then you probably know that no, her fucking information is pretty much bullshit and outdated. I read an article to where a gynecologist had to remove a potato from a woman's vagina that had already sprouted eyes and shit and was growing crap on it because her mother told her if you stick a potato up in your vagina that it prevents pregnancy. Now I don't know if this is something that she actually believed or if the mother was just being a bitch or if she just thought that that would prevent her from having sex. I don't know. Pretty gross though, right? Okay. This is something I don't get. Some women are extremely embarrassed and upset because they get too wet. Hell, I'm all wet. Um, I don't see the problem there. I think there's a procedure that will help you not get so wet when you get aroused. And people think it, they think it's a bad thing. Uh, they're self-conscious about it. They think it makes everything bad because there's always a puddle and there's stains and there's a mess and don't ever 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 get black sheets it's a bad idea but I don't know if you got that procedure what are you gonna do when you hit menopause and you fucking dry up you your shit just dries up no more fucking vaginal lubricant fuck what what are they if you get that procedure done then what happens then just deal with it. It's not that bad. Get over it. Okay, have you ever heard those stories where vagina will like clamp onto a penis and it, they won't let it go and people gotta call 911 and shit? Yeah, I've heard those stories too and I always thought that'd be so weird. I kind of wish that would happen because then you could tell people you have a fucking great story, right? Uh, what is the name is... Penis cap capture, I don't know, let's just call it penis capture. And I find it hilarious. And if anybody has ever had this happen to them, please, please message me and tell me all about it because I really, really want to know. Okay, of course, I got to talk about smell. I was thinking about not 
but of course I'm going to. Uh, some women are self-conscious about their smell. I don't have that problem. Uh, what people will tell you is to um, just make sure you have a good probiotic, you know, probiotics in. Uh, one of the things is don't wear underwear. I don't fucking un wear underwear, so I guess that that's like the magical cure. I don't wear underwear. I don't have problems with that shit. Take your panties off. Okay, no two vaginas are created equal. They all have differences from labia size to the size to how far your clitoris is from this and that and just, just it's all different and you could actually go have surgery to have it look like you want it to look and I really want to get into intimate bleaching but I'm going to save that for another day uh but yeah they have surgery and I really want to do it when I'm like 50 or 40 something I don't know. I, I need to get rich because I really think it'd be hilarious to be a cougar. So I do I would love to have that surgery, but I'd have to get rich to get the surgery and I'd have to get rich to be a cougar and that'd be really cool. I don't know why. I just think it'd be cool. So I, I would do it. I'd have the surgery because I imagine when I'm 50, it's not going to look like it does right now. So yeah, it's a little personal, but hmm, whatever. Okay, if you happen to still be here with me and you're still watching, I'm just going to have one more thing I'm going to say. The opposite of phallic is yonic. So where you would be like that zucchini is really, really phallic. You could say that orchid is very yonic. So I, I just recently learned that word. So now anytime I see something that's remotely yonic, Oh, that's really yonic. Oh, that's really yonic. And it's uh, it's fun to say. So, signing off. This is Lady Uncensored. Uh, I do want to add one more thing, though. If there is a subject that you would like me to dive into, let me know, and I will give it a shot. Thank you for watching.